Um, my name's Tracy Shorthouse. I'm, I'm 47 years old and I've got Alzheimer's and posterior cortical atrophy. Um, for those who don't know, posterior cortical atrophy affects the visual cortex of the brain. So I always say the brain changes what the eye see. So I can't always trust what I see because I don't know if it's true or not. I don't drive anymore because I went through a red light because my brain told me it was green. Um, my spatial awareness affected, um, um, and my balance is sometimes a little bit dicey. Um, so I walk around sometimes when I've been drinking, but I haven't been. I promise. Um, and I used to be a nurse. I used to be a cute nurse in the cute sector, and then I went to district nursing. And I'm a big supporter of John's campaign. I think it's the most important thing. Um, since being patient, I hate that word, because I'm not patient all the time, um, I've had quite a lot of um, bad experiences in acute hospitals. Um, I've been, my mum's been shouting that I told to get out of the ward and that because it's obvious at times. Um, when you're a um, patient and you have a bigger dementia, it's quite scary. It's quite isolating. Yes, I'm quite independent. I live on my own. So I keep... Um, I know my own mind, but when you're a patient, you don't. I can't fight for my flights on a patient. I can't tell the nurse to stop shouting with my mum because I need that one. My mum's the same with me if I'm in hospital. And then when she's not allowed to because it's not business times, how rubbish is that? How rubbish is that nurses can't look beyond the fact that I've got dementia? I was told by a nurse that I was young enough to look after myself. But they didn't care that I had dementia. And there was a lot, a huge complaint by me when I got home because I strong enough to fight for my rights. But when I'm a patient, I can't. And my mum doesn't know how to. When I'm vulnerable, she just does what she's told. And it's not right to be told by a nurse that. And as a nurse, and it's a retired nurse now, that's appalling for somebody to be spoken to by a nurse. Now, I would never dream to speak to anybody when I was a nurse in the hospital. You look at bigger picture, Yet some nurses don't, and that frustrates me. Um, since being diagnosed, I've been diagnosed two years, so I had, um, uh, I was diagnosed um, in 2015, so December 2015, so nearly two years I've been diagnosed. And I'm very good at fighting for my rights now. I get out there, set my feet quite badly, make a nuisance of myself, um, which is a good thing because I want to fight for other people's rights, it's important to go out there and fight during what you people can't fight for themselves. And I'm lucky that where I live, I have a very good psychiatrist who I see um, every three to six months. You may have seen him quite a lot of problems with my medications I'm on. Um, I have a very uh, an occupational therapist who comes out once a month and she's my sounding board. I don't talk, I don't talk to my family, and I talk to my friends about my, de my dementia. My, f my family tend to forget I have dementia because I think I'm so independent. So when I can't remember something, they say, like, oh, I can't even remember. I still got dementia. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, um, and I don't talk to my friends about my dementia either. So um, Anne Marie, my occupational therapist, is my important person in my life because I tell her the truth. <laughs> of how I'm truly feeling. I can cry with her, with my family, my friends who can't cry. They tell me to be strong. Can be strong, Tracy? It's really hard. They're like, with anybody, to be strong all the time when I have my bad days. On my bad days, I can't walk or talk very well. Um, and that's problematic in itself. Um, most of the time, I go out there when I'm always doing things. I'm, it's very important to exercise my brain. And I do a writing group, I go to writing courses, I go out there and I'm always out and about. And in the early days, I didn't pace myself very good, and I used to crash very badly. And, and, but now I, I work very well, and, and I have to actually book my days off, so to speak. So I don't, I'm dreadful. Um, and I love gardening because that's the most important thing. And in the garden, I don't even remember I had dementia because. It's my relaxation part of my life. Um, without, and I know that um, I'm very lucky that I have Anne-Marie, I would say, because a lot of people don't. And I have a lot of people who, who live on dementia tell me, 
Well, we don't get that. Why don't we get that? I think it's unfair how you get that. So then I feel really guilty. In, 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 in a true world, the whole of the UK should have help. Everybody should have help. Everybody should have somebody in their life to talk to, rather than their family and their friends. So I, was, I know that I'm lucky, but it's not my fault either. It's not my fault that I get told off by these people um, because I have help. I went to a conference at the end of the year and um, I wasn't speaking then. I was in the audience and I said something in the audience and they got slated. They got somebody that was family caught me in the corridor and slated me really badly. So how dare I have help? And how dare I have an occupational therapist? Why don't they, they come up north? And I said, I don't know why it's not work anywhere. So that's not my fault either. Um, and it should, shouldn't be that way. <coughs> And we should have John's campaign then everywhere. We should be able to go to any hospital. Would, if I get caught, God forbid, I have anything wrong with me. And my mum or my parents should come be able to come in at any time just to give me that respite or to help me. It's quite scary. If I'm a nurse, so nurses say to me, you can just be a nurse, so we can get scared of. But I, I dread going to hospital. Absolutely dread it because I'm the way I've been spoken to in the past. And nobody should be spoken to by anybody in such an awful way. I fight for my, my life. Um, I get um, slated by people because I, I do so well with my dementia and people don't understand. I go to PSA meetings, support meetings in London, and then I get feel guilty because some of the, the um, people who have PCA can't do anything for themselves anymore. So I have family members come up to me and say, it's not fair that you can do things, my husband can't. So I have like a survivor's guilt sort of thing. But I think I'm in my forties. Life is for fighting. I don't know, I told my consultant, oh, I have left this 30 years with me before dementia gets hold of me. I don't know if that's going to happen. But it's worth fighting for really, I think, personally. I don't ask to have dementia and I had to retire. Um, last year from being a district nurse. I do miss nurse, I miss my patients more um, because I love my patients. I love giving care and helping them and that. But it's not life, and they don't choose the, the person, the thing you get given. So that's all we need to say, really. So we have to fight for other people and they can't fight for themselves. So this is what we need to do for next for listening.